What's good, y'all? We back, RTTV. Yes, sir. And if it's your first time here, definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. And welcome back to another episode of Boruto. We here. Boruto. And we're not parenting today because Sasuke pulled up to where Boruto's at. And I think it's it's going to be all smoke, guys. We're demolishing about? today. It's Today is complete devastation because Sasuke is in the building. We're still parenting because we about to son this nigga Borrow, my nigga. Stop playing. Wow. Come on. Damarco, Damarco. Slime out. Slap. Wow. You felt that one? Yeah. That was a bar. Yeah. That was a bar. That was a bar. Pat bars. Um. You know what, guys? It's testing time? Yeah, give me two seconds. Let's go. Wow. I see it in your eyes. He's like, he got the, the face of that. every I teacher. Do a last episode. I you forgot, was. too. So, we got a lot of this. All right, so this is the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood test right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the test. Oh, nah, nah, this because it was supposed to be episode uh, 200. It was supposed to be either 200 or episode 80. 80. And we passed Black both Clover. Them, and we passed both of them. <laughs> oh, so, I didn't know we was taking this. I thought it was a pop quiz. For <laughs> Full so, Metal time, baby. I just looked up this trivia test. I just took it. I got 9 out of 10. Okay. So... I'm assuming, you know, I watched it the same time as you guys, you know, for the first time. So I'm, or well, as, I'm like, as Robbie, what? as Robbie, <laughs> Evan, I, Evan, you know, I don't know if he did his due diligence or not. He didn't do shit, nigga. Yeah, Rob, Rob, let me see if that kumbada ain't gonna come to me. Yeah, I hope they taught this shit in college, nigga. Y'all get one phone a friend. That's nice. All right, so you guys ready? I, I'm good. Shit, I'm ready as I'm gonna be. I mean, you're a bitch ass nigga. You, you gotta do it for the people, bro. Yo, you didn't I, do it. Yeah, I hear. All right, so about? number one, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood test begins now. <laughs> In the flashback episode, they revealed how Ed and Al lost their bodies. Who does Ed meet in the portal? It's a multiple choice question. Most of all of these are besides true, true or false. Oh, okay. Um, A, his mother. B, greed. C, Hohenheim. D, truth. I think it's greed or his mother. I'm gonna give you those two. How you gonna say two? It's one. You no, I know. One. I'm talking to my oh, nigga. Oh, be yeah, like, yeah. yo, yo, let me okay. talk to my test partner, <laughs> dog. Go with his mother. Go with his mother? All right, yo, me and Robbie are gonna go with his mother. All right. Number two. Who created the seven homunculi? Von Hohenheim. <laughs> 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 Von Hohenheim, Ed and Al, the military, the being that calls himself father. Now, what do you think? All right, yo, so here's my, were- here's my logic right now. I'm going to just, this is just simple t- test taking logic here. Yep. The being, the, the being that calls himself father is too long not to like be something. And then I would think it's either that or the military if I had to guess. Let's go with the father. Let's go with the father? The being that calls himself father. father. Okay. Let's go with the Number father. Number three. This <laughs> nigga, like I'm just taking this test right now. <laughs> <laughs> the characters that meet a couple of visitors from Zing, Mei Chang, and Ling Yao, they are both looking for information oh, about immortality. Why is this? A, it may allow them to become the next ruler of Zing. B, they want to destroy the ability to live forever. C, they want to live forever. D, they just like to find as much knowledge as possible. I'm going to leave this one to you, Rob. I feel, like it's, I feel like it's either the one that they want to live forever or they, they want to... What was the other one that was around that? Are you just guessing or? <laughs> no, I'm obviously just guessing. No, I'm not. I just want to be clear. No, I'm not. I'm I'm really out here right now. Oh, okay, I'm really okay. out here like that. So what's the other one? Now this four. No, no, no. The one, <laughs> the one about living, my nigga. You asked the question again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You fucked me up with that one. The characters, the characters meet a couple of visitors from Zing. So Ed and Al meet somebody from Zing. Mei Chang and Ling Yao. You remember who Mei they Chang. are? No. <laughs> <laughs> they're the little girl. You oh, remember the no. little girl that was yeah, actually yeah, nice yeah. and shit? Yeah. They're the dude that takes over greed. That oh, greed yeah. goes in his body, yeah. So they are both looking for information about immortality. Why is this? So A is, it may allow them to become the next ruler of Jing. B, they want to destroy their ability to live forever. C, they want to live forever. D, they just like to find as much knowledge as possible. So can niggas live forever in Fullmetal Alchemist, Robbie? Nigga can't help me. 
Hey, niggas, this is Yo, I don't know what this fuck, yo. Because I, I don't remember, bro. Like, I have no clue. Like, I, I have no clue. Yeah, I have no clue, bro. Like, that's so crazy. Yo, please go find this episode and see if Robin was sleeping in yeah. this episode for us. Yeah, bro. Oh, no, bro. I, I really don't know, bro. We gotta take a guess though. Like, can they live forever? Yes or no? That's my question. I don't. I I, I can't remember what that nigga wanted to like. He was like, he why he even link up with grief for? Like, I can't remember. Like, why like, he even like grief? Like, I can't remember that. That's why I'm that confused. I'm shit. Like, what the fuck did that little girl want? So should we go to the next one? Yeah, we was gonna uh, spin, spin the block on that. Spin that the block on that. Was too hard, this, bro. This question, Rob, you should you should get the answer to this, all right? I hope so. Well, I, I got. I'm pretty sure I got the first two. Oh, well, let's continue. Come on, Come on, ah. Episode four. In a particularly dark episode, <laughs> Ed and Al meet the see- the suing life alchemist. His daughter and his dog. Ed and Al bond with this little girl throughout the episode. This they is the sh- episode. Yeah, they are shocked to find out later on that the alchemist has turned his daughter and the dog into a chimera in order to keep his own state alchemist license. What is the name of the little girl or her dog? <laughs> a multiple choice, I guess. Nina Tucker and Alexander. <laughs> Yo, this nigga is trying to... I don't know this one, right? I'm not going to lie. I think I got to hear the name. I don't remember right? this one either. Um, B. At this point, y'all can all take the test. I don't know why. Y'all all... Let's all y'all yeah, all take the test. <laughs> so, y'all want to go back... Y'all want to circle back to any of the questions before you... This is the last one. This is the last one. The last one, I know that there was like trying to get information for Zing, so I thought that was last for one Zing. Was, the last one I thought it was Ed. Yeah, so you're saying that they could be a leader of Zing? So it may allow them to become the next ruler of Zing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the other one, the other two episodes. Oh, he got the first one wrong. The first, all right, so what's Because he saw a truth. He saw a truth. Okay, we'll change the answer. Wait, to he that. saw a truth. Yeah. All right, and then who created the seven monkey lie? You want to keep that as well? They got that as well. Okay, yeah. so. Wow. I'm going to let them answer, then I'll answer after. All right. <laughs> if they're wrong. <laughs> and so, the ep- episode four, the, the, uh, the name to the little girl and little dog. Yeah, let so, me hear all these names. A, Nina name. Tucker and Alexander. Ale- uh, B, Alexandria Tucker and Benjamin. C, Alicia Hughes and Billy. D, Gracia Hughes and Bobby. Nigga don't see that. That nigga don't see that. Like hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I don't remember their names at all. The first one had Nina, right? The first one had Nina. It's Nina. Nina. Right. <laughs> Gotta be that. Who is in charge of the northern port of Briggs? Captain Buccaneer, General Grumman, General Armstrong, Colonel Mustang. Say one more time. Well, uh, what? Who is in charge of the northern port of Briggs? Oh, all right. You know what? So it's Captain Buccaneer, General Grumman, General Armstrong, Colonel Mustang. Yeah, that shit's Colonel Mustang like a motherfucker, bro. General Armstrong. Keep that answer. <laughs> Who is Colonel Mustang's best friend? Alex Armstrong, Gene Havoc, Maze Hughes, Kane Fury. Gene Havoc? Is that your final answer? Huh? Wait, say that, say that one again? You said Mustang's best Who friend, right? Who is Colonel Mustang's best friend? Alex Armstrong, Gene Havoc, Maze Hughes, Kane Fury. Gene Havoc is the dude that got oh, his no, arm no, no, no. chopped off. I thought that was a girl. Was a girl. Which one's the girl? The first oh, one. I can't tell you the name. Of the the first, say the first name again. Alex Armstrong, Gene Havoc, Maze Hughes. Gene Havoc, Kane Fury. Or you said Maze Hughes. What was the first two again? Alex Armstrong and Gene Havoc. Alex Armstrong is the he's the brother, the one of the. He's the last nigga because the girl is the one that runs the northern break. She's the one that's bugged out, but she's strong as shit. Um, Havoc, I swear, Havoc's mad cool with this nigga too. He's the one that was in the hospital the whole time and shit. And Fury's not his best friend. Let me see the other one's Mayhews, I think like that. Mayhews, nah, because Hughes is one of the niggas that, that quote unquote died and shit, so I gotta be his wife or some shit. Was Fury his best friend before he got? It was really close. Before he. Before he, uh, yeah. But, damn, what's the names again, yo? <laughs> yo. Alex Armstrong, yo. Gene Havoc, Maze Hughes, Kane Fury. Might be Gene Havoc, bro. I'm gonna go Havoc, yo. That was really right, cool, Gene yo. Havoc. I think it is Gene Havoc. Number seven. Throughout the show, we learned that certain characters are considered sacrifices by father and is a monkey lie. 
What do characters have in common? What do the characters have in common? A, they all open the portal. B, they are all leaders in the military. C, they are all related to Von Hohenheim. And D, all of them created homunculi. No, I don't know. Say that again? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I don't even question. feel bad no more. Listen, 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 listen. I got four niggas on this couch that I watched it together. Niggas don't know what's going on. Show detail, my nigga. That's Throughout the show, we learned niggas that. Niggas, to do that. Throughout the show, I told you it was a reason why. It's a tough show. Throughout the show, we learned that certain characters are considered sacrifices by father and his homunculi. Okay. What do the characters have in common? They all have. They all open the portal. They are all leaders in the military. They are all related to Von Hohenheim. All of them created homunculi. Yo. It's either A. Yeah, it's it's either, either A or D. I think. <coughs> so when you go to go A, fuck it. Okay. Nigga, I forgot what the fuck that shit is. Nigga. Yeah, eight more questions. Against his will, Roy Mustang goes through the portal. What does he give in exchange? His internal organs, his hearing, his eyesight, or his legs? Eyes. Eyes, yeah. The homunculi are related to Ed and Al, true or false? Who? No, I'm not. No, no, they're not really. So no, like that's it. not really their dead. False. Uh, and do Ed and Winry end up together? No. Is no, I wanted answer? them to though. Is that your final answer? Yeah. yeah. Unless it's like wait, fucking some shit. Winry is. Winry is. Is the, the show girl with the blonde hair that's always with him? Yeah. Yeah. Girl. yeah that's, that's the girl. That's true. With the niggas together. Yes, that's true. At the end. I don't remember. Uh, that's you true. That's, I don't true. Remember. Yeah, that's true. So what is the final answer for that one? Jerry seems to say true. I'll say true because Jerry seems to be very out of the way. I'm going to show you some the answers, guys. Let's do it. And the results are... You got an 8 out of 10. All right, so so which ones did we get right? So you got um well you got the the flashback episode. Who do you see in this portal? The answer was true. So it makes it bad. Um, who created some hum monkey live? The being that calls himself. Woo! Oh, I got that <laughs> shit right! Took my shit! Um, the characters need a couple visitors from Zing where they want. It may allow them to become the next school of Zing. Yep. So that was the correct answer. Um, the dark yeah, episode with the, the dog and the little girl. Her name was Nina Tucker. Yeah, and I was, was like, like <laughs> I was like, yo, they got, gotta be a Nina. <laughs> um, who was in charge of the Northern Fort of Briggs? It was General Armstrong. You got that, guys. Who is Colonel Mustang's best friend? It wasn't Jane Havoc, it's Maze Hughes. I had a feeling too. I had a feeling. I had a fucking yeah, feeling. Yeah. So it is a nigga that died. Alright, yeah. cool. That didn't sound like a nigga name at first. Yeah, I know Hughes is his last name, but I'm like, that gotta be his wife. Mm-hmm. That gotta be his wife. Um, that was the wrong answer. That's what you guys got wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, throughout the show, we learned that the certain characters consider sacrifices what they all have in common. They are all open to portal. So I think mm-hmm. Jerry said A on that one, so that was good. Against his own will, yeah, so Mustang. Did you? I was going to shut you yeah. all on this one because he set his eyes on Roy Mustang. So he gave his eyesight in exchange for going through the portal. And um, the homunculi are related to Ed and Al. The answer was false. I mean, the, your answer was false and the correct answer was true. How did relate to The homunculi were created by Father through using his own body. Father himself was created by using Von Hohenheim's blood. Man, that's that mad a technical. That was a that's question. mad that was technical, yo. Yeah. Fuck y'all, whoever made that test right there. And uh, do Ed and Winry end up together? The answer was yes. You guys don't remember at the end of the yeah, season with the picture where they had the babies together? Yeah. Nah, I don't. Yeah, yeah that's why yeah, I was like, that's definitely true. Yeah, the like, very last episode. It's funny because I was like, yo, let's just something right, right, right at the end, my nigga. I don't remember that shit. Yeah. I was like, I'm that's mad. why I didn't, I didn't even want to say that's why the, that was the answer, but I'm like, I know for a fact that they end up together because of the pictures with the babies. That's right. the only reason why I remember that. That's what I'm actually happy, though, because it's like, it was... Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Good job. Good wow, job. Good you job. Go. Good job. Yeah, yo, shout out to shit. Evan, too, because Evan fully got one right, yo. I did. I did. <laughs> We had to turn that to a group test. Yeah, we had to turn it to a group test. That was, that was pure test taking right there. Yo, there's no way they I'm just came up with an answer. Because I had a feeling. I, like, I, I had a feeling it was right Maze, and I was going to say it, but then I'm like, nah, I could be wrong. In my defense, in my defense <laughs> so I would have picked Maze Hughes, and the only reason I would have picked Maze Hughes is it was another testing technique. When Joel was saying the answers, that was the one he smirked the most at every time he said it. <laughs> so I was like, that's why I kept asking you. I'm like, Maze Hughes? And you were like, nah, I can't be. I'm like, all right. I just forgot that nigga's name. Every time nigga said Maze Hughes, you'd be like, 
Maze Hughes. He was fake dead for aye. like half the fucking show too, nigga. No, he's dead. He didn't really die. He died. No, he died. He, he died. got bodied. You remember? He get confused with. Oh, I did two with Bleach. Nigga, he got bodied. Huh? Yeah, he got that yeah. two with one. Oh yeah, he got killed by that little uh, the little kid. It was like kid, a same right? story. No, no, he got killed by um. Uh, he got killed by uh, the no, 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 the, no, the fat one, the fat one, Gluttony. Gluttony, yeah. Yeah. Then who did Fury kill? Fury, um. It wasn't Gluttony that killed. It was the one that, the shapeshifter, the one that had the long oh, hair. Lust, 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 Lust yeah. Yeah, Lust did kill yeah, yep. yeah. She was just always with Gluttony. But, um, yeah, that was it. So I'm glad you guys uh, took it together because the beginning was looking real rough. <laughs> it was looking rough. Real rough. <laughs> we, were like, we were like two out of two out of, one out of two. Nah, we didn't answer two. And we actually didn't answer. We just answered two. Yeah. And we were one out of two. One, the other two we didn't answer. Nah, but why? on that one. Yeah, so far. And then, yo, honestly, we weren't really done. We were going to get more. The only, the only one I think we would have definitely got wrong is that last one for sure. The one I knew... The Mace Hughes, I was definitely going to pick Mace Hughes if it was our test. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The, one, the, one, the ones that I knew, knew for a fact was the Immortal question and then the last question. Those were the two that I knew for a fact. Yeah, the only that one I got like, wrong yeah. was the one y'all got, the, the true or false. If they're all related, that's yeah. the one I got That's wrong. a trick question, though. Yeah. All right, well... Let's get into these episodes, man. <laughs> <laughs> 202, 203, and 204. Carl. Oh, the Boro. Oh, yeah, they're fully about to fight. <laughs> Wasn't this nigga just at this cult spot? Yeah. yeah. Let's see what the fuck. So maybe he was off. I just think of the same shit. I'm like, yo, he might have been the person to sabotage the airship if that's the case. <laughs> One of the questions I asked, bro, this nigga said, nah, this nigga got me fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Those are like some Osusuki marks. Oh, you're right. That is a Renegon. That whole platform yeah. that he's on. How the hell he activate that shit? Oh, Osusuki! It looked oh, like a monogram. Hologram, yeah, that's the nigga he fought, right? Yeah. Look at all the weapons he got. Nah, it's a hologram. Yeah. What's it for, then? It's to intimidate people that pull up. <laughs> Cause it looked like it just went right back to the, ori the original setting. So I was like, I should probably just repeat that move over and over again. <laughs> Why his face look like that? I dreamt the dream. It's MLK Day too, yo. It's crazy, right? All right, all right, relax. Maybe he's about to do a miracle on them and like cure them. He's making it easy for these people to believe him, yo. Because he has to be performing miracles in front of everybody. I can't wait to be mad also, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Because <laughs> it seems like, yo, like, the more they do shit like this, the more they gotta, like, basically have the Osasuki descend on Earth and stuff. Yeah. Create a gateway for them. A hologram of all of them. Momoshiki. Ah, ah, Momoshiki. So you said it represents the shapes of their horns? No, it doesn't. Kaguya, so they each have a own hologram. Yeah, I wonder who the other person will be then. There's only three? Yeah, oh, that one's destroyed. So yeah, who is this last one? And you might be right, it might, it might be Jigen. Who the fuck is that? That's crazy, because like... She's like the that person is the predecessor of Momoshiki and um and Kaguya. yeah. Cause Kaguya says Kaguya they came with Kaguya. Kaguya. Exactly. So he's been here for a minute. What the hell does nigga been out there? This nigga just watched Kaguya get killed. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> no, you, you about to get killed. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 See, that's definitely Jigen, bro. Mm. Jigen's 
speaking with that guy. Nah, he might be right. But I wonder why he doesn't have the horn anymore. Because it seemed like he had a horn and all that shit. Well, it looks like he's in the human form. So he must, he's like definitely got a vessel in the past. Mm. You know what I'm oh, that made him look the way he looked right exactly. now, probably. He said, Nyeye. You just cut through my cloak. You ain't cut through me, bro. Oh, Dang, he wow. made that look crazy. What the hell? It's not that easy. I hope he don't care with her brother right in front. He's <laughs> definitely going to. He pulled some like easy noggy type of thing. Man, that's how you know he about to get body. She said, "Uh, big brother, I'm sorry." Oh, blow his head off. I wonder what's in that bag, man. He's trying to cover up his. Oh, oh shit! Oh, Koshi Kasha right. put it in there because he's the ah. Yo, what is his motive? Yeah. <laughs> so how the hell he knew it was in there? Yeah, so I'm acting like my boy Miski ain't gonna get his lines out here, bro. Look at that. He got his whole dialogue. Oh, touch that shit again, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. That shit sound like a monster that they got. Oh, Suzuki got a pet. Is it the ten tails? Oh shit, that's, that's oh, the rod shit. right there. That's the rods that they used before. I think that is a ten tails. It is a ten tails. Oh Wait, shit. I don't get it. They casually have one that's chilling there? I'll be out. I'll they be have out. They like their own ten tails. I'll be so out I mean, and give this information back. <laughs> and then come back again. Like this information gotta be out. He said he can't even tell how many tails it has. Huh? He can't tell how many tails it has. Yeah, that shit can have like twenty for old. Who was this? Jigen? Jigen pulled up. Yeah, Jigen's bro, like, yo, you, you thought I wasn't going to sense you over here, my nigga? Oh, shit. He's about to go head up. Yo, they really have their own tail beast. Oh, yeah, this ten tails. That's all. You got that? He been over here collecting chakra? chakra from this nigga. <laughs> what the hell? So he feeds it. He feeds himself. His vessel is to the ten tails. Yeah. Yeah, it is him. Yeah, yeah, wow. But what if he looks like that also Suki? Because that also Suki is the one that gave him his powers. That gave him his karma. Get out of there, Sasuke. Ah, oh, shit! He's about to visit the leaf. Kawaki and Naruto. Uh, Boruto. Oh, he's running up in the leaf. Nah, Miski's gonna. I'm telling you, Miski's gonna do something major, bro. You see him? I'll say, I've been sleeping on Miski, bro. Look at him giving attention. It's like Taz mask scared. Anxiety's kicking in. Yeah, I didn't think Chi was gonna pull up this early, nigga. Damn. But they got a whole wild ass plan, bro. So I wonder if each Otosuki has a pet like that, too. Who the hell put that there, though? Like, who got the tentails and put it there? I'm confused, you know? Be surprised, motherfucker. <laughs> this song cracks me up, yeah. <laughs> it's all like us, Evan. It's all like Walker, Texas Ranger. The uh, the leaky hole reference made me think about a lot of what you were saying about him still being kind of off. Mm -hmm. There's still that loophole, you know, that hole in him mm -hmm. that Jigen can still access. He hasn't been completely restored. Yeah, until we find that piece for that base, I'm gonna assume that he's still an op, uh, uh, under undercover op that he doesn't know himself. So. Ewa Ben really looks like a Pokemon trainer. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like he does. especially a hat too. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that nigga was gonna be Kawaki. <laughs> really <get it. laughs> yeah, I really can't call this dude's character yet, yo. He really may be on our side. We don't even know. Yeah, he's definitely his own person. Yeah. He's trying to figure out what Jigen's plan is. Yeah. yeah. He's like, yo, Jigen must know about this dude. So about why Bonzo. hasn't he done something? Yeah. She's pregnant? Oh, shit. That's because Jigen's pulling up, nigga. Oh. Yeah. Oh, damn. 
The win! Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure his would resonate with uh, Jigen's too, just because Jigen gave Kawaki the karma. Exactly. And he has a karma as well, too. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing they're not going to be. <laughs> Yo, I'm sick of the same <laughs> shit. Ooh. Oh, he got the shit. He got the Kara chills. Jigen. He knows yeah. that feeling. Whoa, what the fuck is that? That's not the same curse mark. Seems like his, like, that seems like the horns that Jigen had and that shit. Mm. Sensory. Oh, sensory. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Her sensory senses are tingling. Yo, this nigga G is about to fuck niggas up. So what I told y'all, he has no control of this shit. Oh, oh what the see hell? See that? Jigen got some shit like, yo, bro, at the end of the day, he controls this dude. What the? F oh, he made a portal. He pulled out. Nah, okay, you guys are right. I stand corrected Wait, about the control. Did he make a portal to where he was at? Nigga made a portal from out of his hand. He's like, I'm in your crib now. Oh, you tell me Jigen can't oh control Oh, my gosh. He <laughs> used him to make a portal to pull up, bro. He said, I'm inside your crib. It ain't gonna be that, though. Bow! Yes, yes it, it is! is. <laughs> Yo, what's Naruto wow. thinking? Wow, Jigen's wow. gangster, gangster. Sinne. <laughs> and this works perfect for Jigen. It's like perfect, yo. The vessel about to pull up on me too. Oh. Nigga, go! Follow this nigga. Oh nah, they need to stay out of this. Yeah, thing. right. <laughs> we need less people to be involved. Who knew it would be that easy though? He used a portal out of his kid's hand. Yeah, exactly. He could have pulled up on him this whole time. You go. seen that, right? Yeah. Jigen sensed his frog right there, bro. This is what they call a living room. I'm about to leave you dead in this. <laughs> what? I didn't think he'd be that polite. Wow, he looks crazy right now. Wow, he stopped these cho the chakra quick. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh. You ain't gonna do nothing. Kodahamaru, you ain't gonna do nothing. Why he indulged with Kodahamaru? Oh Why he doing Kodahamaru like that? Yes, Wait, with the Rasengan. Because he knew if he can't do that with Naruto, it's not gonna be that easy. Just go ahead up with him. Oh so he had to god. neutralize him. Said you're trash. Oh my He's like, god. He's yeah, done playing with you. And that's how he was able to do that with the ten tails, then it makes more sense. <laughs> Vacation's <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah, he felt disrespected right there. Sasuke's <laughs> oh. gonna hop out a portal and kick him in the face. Damn now, so you gotta get up now, so. He got Naruto looking sad right now, there. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's about to knock him out. Oh, Whoa, oh. what the f- Kawaki, Digivolve, too. I can tell Jigen didn't see that coming. Let's go! Oh, oh he about to turn up. Don't disrespect. So, he, yeah, he really been getting stronger since being around this nigga Naruto. Not sucking it. Oh, this is pathetic, bro. Yeah, <laughs> now you're looking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Let's go. Head up. Yeah, like, still on my crib. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Yo, this nigga look cool as fuck. Yeah, they better than a Totsky. <laughs> Yo, Konohamaru is hurting. Damn, he caught damn. Oh yeah, and this is the power that he literally just got from Ten Tails. Whoa, it's like an evil Complete spirit bomb. Deficit. It looks like, it looks like um, what Kawaki did. You know that attack Frieza be doing? Oh yeah, that comes right to the fingers. Yeah, right yeah. No. <laughs> Kawaki's like. Um, I know what you could do with that move. But this is him caring about the people. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I've seen that move before. 
Oh, wow. That's fucking I love you, deep. Hokage. I love you. That's deep right there. Hell yeah, that includes you, bro. You're Come my on, adopted man. son. Come on, man. Well, watch your back, though. Yo, Boruto, absorb this shit. Boruto! Wait, see? What? See? Oh. That nigga's on our side. Oh, not, not. He helped me, bro. Now I could really go all out on you. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm facts. saying. Yeah, <laughs> facts. That's the only reason why I didn't fully tee up. It's like, yo, we fighting outside my crib, bro. You about but, to blow my whole crib up. Yo, yeah. Koji Kenshin, bro. That nigga got to be on our side, bro. Yeah, when you see Naruto get in danger, he was ready to help us on. Yeah, even before, he was like, wait, you're going to do that here? As if, like, he actually cares about the Leaf Village. Oh, oh, he's, he's a, a bitch. bitch. Ah. Well, you don't know. My boy actually knows how to do this time shit. Yeah! Oh, hey, let's go! Sasuke! Hey, Hada! Nah, one of them niggas is dying. Let's go! I tell you, one of them niggas is about to die, bro. Nah, nah, nah. This ain't the, this ain't the Akatsuki one, nigga. That's crazy, bro. I had a feeling that Sasuke got to be around this moment, man. I don't know. Them niggas need to, might need to get Yamato. They, the they need a third heavyweight. 3D animation. Did it change? Yeah, it was changed. That's true, too. Yeah, okay. yeah you did that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, but now they can really fight all out here. He's bad news, you think? Look at Coach Kenshin. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> see, Miski's gonna turn off, <laughs> day. I'm telling you, nigga. She about to see Konohamaru fucking stuck. Yo, that looks so painful. <laughs> Pull that shit out. That nigga is traumatized. She's a clown. She left that nigga with. <laughs> Look at him, man. Where's Kawaki at? <laughs> Let's go. Whoa. Let's go. Whoa. Yo, this should be two on one. Let's go. Fuck this nigga up, oh. Naruto. Oh, oh. Oh, please do that. Chidori. Woo. Chidori kick. Oh my god. Sasuke bro. can't catch a break. And he can't regenerate either. Yeah. He made a thousand of them things. <laughs> Yo, he's doing this with ease too, bro. Oh my god. This is fire. Oh, oh this, this, this ain't the Akatsuki, bro. <laughs> this ain't Momoshiki, my nigga. Oh, this is Jigen. Jigen the god. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Damn. Nah, Jigen is better than Mata. That was some Jackie Chan shit. This is right some Mata real shit right here. That yeah, same nah, animation. This is, this is like when he came to the battlefield. Yeah, it rocked everybody. See, Pat, this is why I thought Balto would have been good. I told you. I just think their fight team is going to be fire with this animation. Nah, you're right, though. Oh, instant teleportation. Yo, they haven't landed a hit on this nigga. Nah. Oh. He didn't just do that. Wow. Why is he yeah. this savage, bro? Yo, Jigen is really like that. Oh my gosh. It's like, he de I get what he, all right. He makes it move so quickly by shrinking it, but once, once it's inside you, he expands it, so then it causes that type of infliction. He's an Otosuki, he's gonna tell him. <laughs> ah. No! No! I'll be so heated. It's like Jigen's trying to kill him before he tells him, yo. Oh wow. Now, Damn. Jigen. Sasuke's an idiot. I would have waited for him to dip, deal with Naruto, tell him shit, and let's plan it and make, catch yeah. him out by surprise. But I guess they want to take advantage of the fact that, that he got him. I thought they were that strong, nigga. Oh, oh my god. 
gosh. Yeah, they oh. underestimated him for sure. Oh, wow. They're giving it to him right now, though. They still haven't hit him, though. He's blocking everything. Yeah, I can't say they gave him. They got him on the ropes. They're pushing him back. Yeah, they're doing shit to that nigga, bro. Got him. That makes sense. Got him. Got him. They got him. He teleported. Yeah, yeah. Now he's now he's getting nervous. He a little shook. Oh, he said, uh, I'm about to turn up a little bit more. <laughs> Damn, I think it just went to his next level, bro. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, he said it was like a shish kebab. That's crazy. Oh, that's smart. Doesn't mean he's safe, but he's alive. He means he's alive, <laughs> yeah. Two different things, yo. Yeah. Uh, I see Risky, I told you. Y'all yeah, was talking shit saying, nah, nah he's gonna is. have a big role. I'm, I'm big fight. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh Susan, no. Yeah, we haven't seen a Susan in a minute, bro. He's bad news. Oh, oh shit, Kurama. Susano and Ninetales Fusion? I know I was gonna say that. Oh, that's that's something we definitely haven't seen in a minute. Yo, oh this shit's about to go gosh. crazy. He's not even phased. He's nigga. not. Nah, bro. He's not. He's not Mada. He's not the Akatsuki. He's not uh, Kaguya. He's not Momoshiki. He's Jigen. <laughs> Yo, he's moving. <laughs> I'll tell you, he might be one of the greatest uh, Naruto villains, bro. Yo, he's fast. They still ain't touching. It looks like he's putting the rods on these niggas little by little. Nah, this makes no sense why they'll fight him. That small ass nigga with these <laughs> big ass things. I mean, they way stronger like this. That's why. Oh, oh my god! Oh. oh. Well, uh, that's some trash ass defense. I'll tell you that. Oh, no more Susano. He's yeah, yeah. out of the Susano. Oh Damn, that shit's crazy. Oh! Ah! Nah, stop. Down, down. Down. Stop then. We're really gonna switch places. Woo yep. Thank you. That shit make him nervous, though. Yeah, not tails flow. That ninja Naruto. Damn it. Ah, the tails. One for all nine. About to crack Naruto. So you can. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. This thing hit him with a so you can. That's crazy. Chidori Come on, Chidori. Go, Sasuke. Woo Switch places. Oh. 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 Dumbass. Ah. That's some real defense right there. I can't even lie. What is, oh, uh, no, no, Sasuke's no, dead. Don't do it. No! Uh, oh, man. my gosh. Oh, let's go. Yo, oh, damn. Bad damn, 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 damn. Yo, nah, Jigen's going stupid on them. Jigen's going stupid on them. Wow. Yo, if they're not oh, strong enough, who, who, who are we going to rely wow, on? Uso. What the fuck you think, nigga? Hey, he could take his karma. <laughs> This is like the best fight that we've seen. Oh, we're fucked. Oh, we're fucked. Oh. Matarasu. He knows all about this. He's taking a shower in those black flames. Yo, he whooped their asses. Oh my god. Yeah, he ran out of chakra. Oh, die. Yup, yup. I'm Jigen is just a vessel. Oh, oh my gosh! Yo! Oh, whoa, whoa! Kaiju Kenshin! Say, oh, what the fuck, man? Fuck, man! Nah, he's the best villain, bro. He's the best. I've never seen somebody just talk. They threw the music on. They threw the music on! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Zen <laughs> Kurama is like chill, bro. Yeah, chill, really kill us right now. Relax. Oh, 
<laughs> Is he maturing nicely? He's a dick. <laughs> Koji Kenshin is saving his life, bro. Yo, fucking Jigen. Gone. Sasuke! <laughs> Yo, he's talking his shit even though he's on a fucking steak. He put him in a Death Star. He really just sealed Naruto. That's fucking tapped. He's a goon. I'm telling you, the only person that could help them is, um, what's that boy's name? Orochimaru. You need Orochimaru in situations like this. Is he crying? His body's not his limit right now. Oh my god, so their personality still stay intact. Ishiki. Oh shit. His name is Ishiki. Yeah, Ososuki, yeah. Koji Kensha has all the information he needed. And now he knows Jigen's like Achilles Hill. <laughs> that too, he, Sasuke told him all the plans too. He was yeah. Good, yeah. Oh, oh. He thinks he's dead now. That's crazy. D dramatic, nigga. Dang. Dang. That shit was litty. Uh, that was a great episode. That was a great three episodes. Holy moly, oh. guacamole. Yeah, that was amazing, bro. That was the best moment. In Baruto. Yeah. Easily, <laughs> easily best. Yeah, I say that all the time now, so I'm, I'm you feel me? Yeah. That's how good this every week is, yo. This is the best. It's the, I feel it's so yeah. much good moments. Yeah, that, that it's good, it's good. It's amazing, best. actually. How how the hell is Naruto? Because Naruto's gonna get out. I just don't know how. There's no way that he's not gonna get out of that. Now he's gonna get out, but like it makes me wonder what's gonna happen while he's in. Yeah, right. It's like Maybe we got like Sasuke fucking up. injured as hell too. I I could say I definitely like um I think this storyline is definitely uh better than um the Shippuden. Because remember how in the end we was like we felt like they threw everything in the end and it didn't make sense. I feel like here they really took their t like the whole Momoshiki and the other planets and the, all like it makes makes way more sense and I feel like it's more um meaning behind it. And I feel like it's dope because we know everything about the Nine Tails. We know everything about Sasuke. But now it's in a situation where it's like we need something new. We need something more. Like we already know about all the tail beasts and none of it is enough for the new challenge that's ahead. And I like that because it's like now we got to see the writer take it to new levels like we're gonna see new things come to play because i'm happy like the tail beast like the the beast wasn't the main thing i like how the karma came into play like karma is a whole new thing and the artificial um uh fighters and stuff like it's like way more like i don't know i feel like it's way more thought out and i, I like it because of that yeah i mean it all depends on how it ends too because no we we was rocking with shipping it until shipping it turned to the end of shipping it so I was like, really? Yeah, you feel me? That's all like. It makes you realize, like, what well, all of that was for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, this like what it is, though, it's, it's too. It's, you could tell that they really, like, the right. Like, because you got to think about it, the writing. And the reason why I like the writing so much is because it has to do with Naruto and it has to do with Shippuden. Like, it makes it with all three. I just feel like it's just one storyline. Yeah, because, it converges all together. Yeah, together. I just feel like true. it's like this was the, the beginning, this was the middle, and now as adults, this is the new challenge. This is, oh, what we thought was. The peak isn't the peak. Yeah, yeah. This it's like, and then the new generation. Like I, I love it. Like I really think it's it's fire. Yeah, I feel like it makes uh, it makes the ending of Naruto better because it was almost as if, uh, Kaguya's, cause after in the beginning Kaguya's appearance was so random, and it was like ah, you should have let Madara be the final villain. You know, what but saying? now but, it makes sense. But now yeah, it makes yeah. sense if they were tying all this into it, if they had planned that in the beginning. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I feel like it almost the writer at the time for Naruto ship it in. Introduce Kaguya as a way to continue the, the series even after Naruto. Shippuden. And I like how they they could have not brought her up. Yeah. And I, like to me, at least I didn't I didn't really like um, that part of her. But 
like you said, now the all that makes it makes sense why she was there. It's like, and I I don't know how I explain it. It's, it reminds me of like I don't know if it was like other shows, but like we thought Kaya was the end all be all, and then boom, we find out nigga, that's like the little nigga out of the yeah. the the whole um the whole bunch. It, I like I like that. Yeah, this this episode was fire to me. That was the first time I ever seen this Susano, yo. That man Sasuke yeah, really took. Nah, nah, he, he, he did it. He did it in Bar. He's done it in Baruto. Nah, he did it in Susano. He never done it. He never done it in Baruto. What? He didn't use it. Oh, uh, yeah, he did. He didn't do it. I thought he was trying to tell me when I, I, I seen Susano, bro. Yeah, yeah. So that shit was lit, man. And especially like Susano and Kurama coming out at the same time, and them still getting their ass whooped. Like I don't know what type of shit this nigga Jig is on. Like I don't even mm-hmm. understand. Like I don't know how they're gonna be able to beat this man. They pretty much tried everything they could and they still lost. So I don't even know what what Naruto has up his sleeve. It's not him. It's his son. I'm yeah. telling you, it's the, the future has to. So like, you think it's gonna be Boruto and Kawaki? Yeah, it has to yeah, go for them has, together. Because that's the, I feel like the they need like uh, that absorbing shit is, is choking everything. Bro. Yeah. Like you have to be able to absorb some shit too. And I feel like that the karma is um Boruto's uh, nine tails. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It could, it could either be, it could either be used to destroy everything, yeah. or if him and Kawaki could figure it out. Because remember the nigga in this episode, he um Kawaki uh, had the shit in the pull heart, up, yeah. and he advanced so fast, and the nigga was like, "Damn, this nigga advanced." So it's it's a thing where it's like, um, maybe he wants, maybe he talks so much shit to Kawaki and them to make them think so little of themselves because he, they cannot have no type of confidence because if they realize, yo. If you actually control your karma, you could fuck me up. Yeah. So let me make you keep thinking you're nothing, you're shit. Like, mm-hmm. you could fight me, nigga, never. But the one thing that made this nigga say fuck all that was, was him awful. having um some uh, people to care for and yeah. shit. So I feel like, I, and that's what I'm saying, I feel like that writing is really like, like the, it, this, this writing is mature. That's what I can say. It's mm-hmm. very mature because where Shippuden, I feel like, um, it was um, it it was uh, it was perfect. It was like action packing stuff where this is action, but then they give you some parenting and they give you this. Like you know what I'm saying? They 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 mix it in a lot, and I think it's because they knew the audience grew up too. So it's like we can't just keep giving these niggas tail beast fight, fight, fight. It has yeah. to be like yo, Kawaki, how he's cheated like shit from his parent, then to come here and actually be have a family to care for and stuff. And that's why I'm saying it's a lot of like. It just grown. Like, I don't have to explain. This is like a very, it's grown but not grown but grown. Like, because you guys in the beginning it wasn't grown. It was, I but don't like know. this it's part, the show. <laughs> is, like this part is grown. But, but it's because you said it's part of the thing. What the manga? This canon. This is canon. canon. Yeah, this is yeah so canon. maybe that's why. Yeah, and I think that they're definitely gonna defeat him now too because his vessel is getting destroyed. So they, Naruto and Sasuke actually did a significant amount of damage to Jigen when they was fighting him. Into the vessel. And hey, boy, Yamato, they, nigga, yeah. Yamato would have been there. If they had one more person there, that person would have been Yamato would have been the nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah he has the uh, first Okage's power. Nigga, he doesn't have the extent of it that allow him to stop Jigen, nigga. He would have been Fuck, nigga. nigga. Yeah, like, like Yamato. He, yeah, it's definitely gonna, it's definitely gonna come down to the both of them, and they're gonna end up defeating him because they put the chinks in the armor at this point, and it's not gonna be easy for him to even take down. It's not going to be um, him to take down either of them at this point because of how weak he is and because of how strong dude has got. He just unleashes power. And... Yeah, I think I think it's definitely going to be Kawaki, Kawaki and Boruto because now it just makes sense. Like, the old generation got whooped. The new generation needs to kind of figure it out and get this part done. So I think that's going to be, like, the big, like, wow, damn, my son really that's, likes that. That's why he needs Kawaki, Kawaki as his vessel because you saw when Kawaki came and pulled out with the horn, it's like, we know... There's no telling what he's going to do when he unleashes that power. There's no telling if he'll even be able to control it. So, at that point, you can't really stop him. That makes the only nervous. thing is, I just want to know, how the hell is Naruto going to get out of there? And I think if he gets out of there, he's going to come out with some sort of power-up that's able to get him out. That's the thing, too. Like, I don't get with, like, Naruto and, um... I don't even know Sasuke, really, but... It's like, my nigga, bro, it's like, you think you're that strong? Like, I just feel like, yo, you should be training all the time. Like you should you you should be trying to get your power levels higher because you can't assume that nigga what you like he barely be fighting practicing this shit so it's like oh, nigga, see, yeah. all right, <laughs> boom all right, somebody here and it's like right? yeah and I'm like yo bro it's like it's like 
like the minute you heard there's aliens, nigga, I don't know, my nigga. I'm like, you know what? Let me be on the court. Like, you feel me? Let me get my reps in. Let me, yeah. like, improve. Like, because to me, it's like he's at, a, like, let's say the pile level is 3,000, and he's like, there's no one. You don't think there's nobody? Yeah, I got you. Like, Goku always in his mind was like, there's nah, gotta be a nigga stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gotta be a nigga stronger with Naruto, and I feel like, I feel like even Sasuke would have trained, but nigga, you niggas keep sending his ass out. That's all <laughs> the training, though. I, I, I think Sasuke is, is more ready than Naruto in terms of getting the job done. Naruto just has this infinite amount of chakra, which he, he so he can last longer. But I agree, because even Kurama was like, damn, this is pathetic, Naruto. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, looking crazy. Naruto's yeah. definitely not battle ready. Sasuke is, he just has a limit, and he has one arm. Yeah, I, but I'm, I'm glad, nigga. though, yo. That's the problem I have with this nigga. Well, My nigga, the world's will get a fucking arm, nigga. Like, it's shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nah, real shit is not the, the time to not have an arm and shit. But we came up, though, at least, like... Like Jay said, we found the vulnerability of this nigga um, Jigen right now. And it's funny because now, like, you notice that Jigen, it reminds me, I'm going to go back to Full Battle Alchemist with Greed and stuff like that. Because, like, Greed, the person that he took over, was trying to overtake his body while he was in the body. So, like, right here we see that he's talking to Jigen, like, Jigen why are you crying? crying? Yeah. So, it's like, we're going to get the backstory of who Jigen actually is. And the situation that caused him to become a vessel, because that's gonna be that's gonna be fundamental, because that could possibly what happen what, what could happen with Boruto, because hmm. Momoshiki could pop back up and be like, "This is my body now, nigga," yeah. and then that could cause the calamity that happens in the Leaf Village. Gotta be fucked up. You feel me? Because of the fact that he overtakes his body, and then Boruto has to do I this was, inner battle. Didn't they say the name of the vessel though? Didn't they say his vessel's Jigen, name when he's crying? Jigen, Jigen, Jigen is the vessel. Jigen. Ishiki Osusuki. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. It's the main person. Oh, okay. And Jigen is a vessel. Yeah. Okay. So, I think it. Jigen was strong enough to, you know, withstand uh, the power of Osusuki taking over his body. Yo, we need to download these niggas and, you know, Naruto jump. I mean, Ninja Ninja Stone. Stone. Uh, Stone. Only, I think only Boruto and Sarada and maybe Bisuki is available. Is there a new game? Nah. Not that I know of, at least. The one day, but I know the new one comes out. The Boruto. <laughs> The Jigen. Now, Jigen's fast, bro. Jigen, Jigen like, went crazy. crazy. I, think I, think he's the best, yo, I think he's the best. Yo, he's up there with Mato. I think he's one of the strongest villains. In, yeah. I can't say he's fast. Undoubtedly. Yeah, well, because I, I don't do that job or any shit, but he, he got potential. Because we're going by power levels and shit from what? Nah, this will be Mato. That's all I'm to say. I'm, I'm saying, like, like, saying Mato had more, like, epic Moments. Yeah, moments. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But, but we can say who's stronger it's, automatically he's stronger, though. was definitely... That was easily one of the, to me, that that was the top three best fight sequence I've seen. I feel like this is a point yeah. to you got that. <laughs> actually, when Madara got on the battlefield um, during the Ninja War, yeah. I think this battle to me is equivalent to that because, like, with for how strong, even though even though they are lacking for how strong Naruto and Sasuke are, that's a big deal to do what you did to them. That's a big deal. He fucked them. He up. fucked them. Yeah, no, he fucked them. <laughs> and yeah. that's them go all out though. And shout out to the animation though, because like I, I think the show definitely has its own um style animation. Cause like I said, that fight scene, bro, like I ain't gonna lie to you, like that was really like I think it's hard to compare the two now because it's only gonna look better because technology. Yeah, of course. Because like that scene looked so fire and it was only two of them, but like the scene where um Naruto turned to all those shadow clones, and then he did the um, the situation with all the rods coming up. Mm -hmm. To me, that was a dope new way of defeating the shadow clones, which I haven't seen someone do that. Yeah, which was fire. Yeah, and it's ill though because they keep putting up those those rods. Like I like how like we had we got introduced to those rods with pain, and those still became a prominent thing for chakra abs uh, absorption. So that's ill that they still got that around and on a different level. Everything matters. Like, yeah, everything. everything. You're watching the show. Plays, that's why I like it. Like, and that's why I feel like yo, I kind of like I don't even want to like separate them no more. I just want one show. Yeah, it really is. It is one show. They just put different names. But at the end of the day, it's just one long ass series, bro. Yeah. It's yeah. like technically that's they could have done like, a One Piece and just kept it Naruto the whole time yeah, if they, they wanted to. Yeah, that's literally you're right. That's, that's exactly what that's it is. literally what it is. Yeah, I'm just mad because they named it Naruto. That's why I have a problem with the name Naruto as the name of the anime too because. It was really about Naruto and Sasuke. You know what I'm saying? And then Boruto, we're seeing this about him and Kawaki, even Naruto and, Shif and yeah. Sasuke. You know what I'm saying? So it should have been something more 
a bigger umbrella. Shinobi. Yeah, Shinobi. <laughs> that would have been next been. generation. Why? Nah, <laughs> think about it. The damage for Shinobi. <laughs> that is so fucking. They said, nah, he about to be Hokage. Give that shit to Naruto. Mm-hmm. Well, that was an amazing three episodes, guys. I'm glad you guys recommended to, for us to watch all three together. Because it was definitely essential. <laughs> yeah, facts. Uh, yeah. Well, we're moving on, man. We we're going to see what happened to Naruto, how Kawaki and Boruto are going to respond, and if Sasuke will ever fight the same. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. It's your boy, Wells, the Anime King. What's good, man? It's your boy, DC. Next generation shit. Patrick RT. The man, the myth, the maniac, Wilkins underscore RT, and... Did it explain how he got that little baby ten tails? No. Nah. No. Nah. I wonder. Yeah. I want to get more context on that. I wonder. Yo, I did you really know the anime with the title of the person's name? Huh? I don't know. Mob Psycho. Oh, Yu Yu Hakusho. No, that's not his name. His name is yeah. Mob. No, no, Technically, Yu Yu Hakusho isn't really because his name is Yusuke. Uh, his name is Yusuke, so yeah, not really. Yeah, not really. Tony Kenshin? That's his name. That's, that's his name? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Forget it. Um, thank you, Asha. There's a lot of shows. That bullshit, so. Shut the hell up. It's a good ass yeah. show, Nick. Classic. Actually, honestly, every time I see that shit, I get sick. Like, nauseous. It's your better upset, RT. Like, nauseous. <laughs> and that settles it at the round table. Drop that heat.